Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Julie of Julie's Plans. In today's video, I'm going to be planning in something a little bit different. If you guys watched one of my videos last week, I'll be sure to link it right above here, but it was my review of the Plum Paper Planners. I did purchase this seven by nine um, weekly, hourly, and a A5 daily. Um, and I really enjoyed trying those out, so I thought this week I would actually do a plan with me. I did also go ahead and plan this week in this planner as well as in my Moxie Live and several other planners. I planned in a lot of things this past week. Um, so this is how it turned out. For me, it was kind of like a, a familiar place because the setup is very similar to the life planner with the exception of the paper obviously being um, very different and the color scheme being different. But when it comes down to planning and creativity, like the color scheme doesn't even matter. So I will say though, um, to be quite honest, this isn't my favorite paper, but it's not nearly as slippery or as smooth as other people made it out to be. I don't know if they changed it since the last time that I purchased, but um, I actually don't mind this paper. Is it my absolute favorite? No, but I, I do prefer a paper with more texture like the Life Planner, but um, the, if you like this style of planner, you're, you're really gonna love it. So that's how this week turned out. I haven't even put anything down for Sunday. It's Sunday right now. I'll probably put things in later. So here we are. I am planning the week of the 6th through the 12th and I found, I've been like reorganizing and just purging things in my office and I found this kit from Cricut Paper Co. that I completely forgot that I got at the Let's Flamingle Beaches event in Orlando in, I think that was back in January? I can't even remember when it was from, but I was like, holy cow, this kit is beautiful. It's got this like cherry theme. It just kind of reminded me of summer without being like too beachy like. So I also grabbed a couple of washi tapes. This one is ridiculously old. So who knows if it'll even work. Um, if you're not familiar with Cricut Paper Co, their stickers are vinyl. So you will need a permanent pen to write on them. And I chose the micro perm in the O3 tip. I feel like that one works the best for me in my handwriting, but this one is actually from the anniversary bundle from Chrissy and Design, so it actually has the 10 years of CAD on the barrel of the pen. All right, so let me start. So here's another thing that I'm not used to, and that is the way the dates are up top here on this planner. So I am going to do what I've seen other people do with their plum paper planner, and I'm just gonna cover it up and then put date covers over it just to cover up all of the color. And I have to be really careful with this washi tape because I had to go digging for this in my collection. And um, it was not easy to find. Oh, are we gonna need white out? We might need white out. Um, speaking of white out in this color scheme in this planner, um, I have also gone ahead and purchased the um, colorful version of this or not colorful, neutral version of this planner because I was really, really curious about it. Others had asked if I was going to try it um, and I thought, why not? You know, I mean, I feel like that's part of my job on here is to share with you all of these different things. So I went ahead and I ordered it. I'm just gonna really worry about covering the, well, we'll just cover everything. This is gonna be a lot of white out. This is another gripe that I have. Um, and I know we get used to things. I am just used to the color scheme of a different planner. So this one just throws me off for so many reasons because the color is not continuous. So I was like continuous down to the bottom of the planner is what I mean. So that is why I went ahead and I grabbed the neutral version to see how that was. I've heard a lot of comments about it being more purple than truly gray, but I was like, I would like to see this for myself. And of course I will share with you all as well. So I'm gonna finish whiting this out. Now let's see, I'm trying to not use the part of the washi tape that I tore um, when I found it in my stash. I think washi tape truly does expire, like the adhesive just is not the same. Um, let's see, now I have to get it straight, so that should be fun. All right, let's just go with right there. I don't like that I have to cover up this much <laughs> at the top, but man, that green is brutal. Okay, 
So we've got that side done. Let's see how the date covers are gonna look on top of this. I think it's gonna look good, but we shall see. This is definitely much more creative than what I normally get. I think that that looks okay. I don't know. I have some additional kits um, coming from Planner Kate. And as you can see, I used Planner Kate stickers last week in this planner. Um, I am so bad about ordering stickers. <laughs> like I thought that um, I had already placed my order and I went back into my Etsy cart and everything was still sitting there because I hadn't ordered anything actually. Um, but it gave me a chance to go back in and order some new stuff that she had just released. Um, so it was kind of a, a blessing in disguise, if you will. All right, now let's try to do this side without destroying the planner. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, not too bad. It looks straight. Hopefully it is actually straight. <laughs> All right, let's get the rest of the week down. The date covers are down. That doesn't look too bad, but again, I have some more color that I need to cover over here. And I think what I'm gonna do is just use the notes sticker here. I need to cover up all of this green. Not very fond of that. Um, let's go with this one right here, this full box to cover it up and see how that does. Uh, I think I need to move it over just a smidge more to cover that line. Hopefully this actually covers it. Yep. Very good, okay, not a problem there. And the last piece to remove the rest of the color in this layout, there we go, notes. Um, that'll actually be my to-do list. I like the way that that looks. Okay, there are some full boxes here and I'm going to want to use those. Um, I'm definitely, I grabbed some stickers to cover the bottom. Actually, I might wanna use this washi. Let's see how the washi covers. I'm all over the place, you guys. <laughs> It'll be fine. Let's use this washi to cover the gray at the bottom. I don't like how the, the color is like, there's green up here and then gray down here. I would have rather that it's just all color or all neutral, not half and half, but I know that that's my personal preference. I'm very, very particular about planners in case, in case you can't tell. Okay. Get this side down. Now let's focus on those full boxes so that I can plan everything else around there. I did grab some of these Planner Kate um, washi strips that I had left over from another kit, but I don't think I'm gonna use those now. Um, all right, let's start with these. All right, boxes are down. I struggled quite a bit, as you could probably see. <laughs> but luckily, Cricut Paper Co. stickers are indeed um, repositionable because, oh my God, that would, that would have just been a disaster. Let's get this weekend sticker down. I actually have a long weekend in the weekend that we're currently in. I'm actually off on the, days that, on the day that you guys are watching this video, so. That's awesome, I'm super excited about that. I'm going to use this Monday, <clears throat> this, how do you call it, the full box here with the days on it. Usually I just track steps or meals, things like that. I'm also gonna throw on these habit trackers. And honestly, this is my way of filling up this space and covering up the gray bar over here because I actually don't need that. Um, these colors are just beautiful in this kit. Absolutely beautiful. That is perfect. I like the way that that looks and it leaves just enough to do's for the day. All right, what do we have coming up this week? Um, we actually are going to get um, my son's school calendar on Monday, which is, I'm a nervous wreck about. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are too. It's just so hard to tell like what's going on or what's going to happen because, uh, yeah, it's just, 
don't know what's gonna happen, honestly. But we do have that coming up. Let me, I think I'm just gonna put 20, or 2021 school calendar. That's going on there. I actually don't know how they are going to handle the whole school calendar thing because things are just so uncertain right now. I know that that word is getting used a lot, but I feel like things have changed drastically over the last couple of weeks with COVID. And so it'll be interesting to see how they approach it. Um, I'm just gonna throw a day off sticker here for myself because I chose to take an extra day off, even though I've already been off from work since last, what, uh, last Tuesday afternoon, because I think I've mentioned this in a previous video, but my daughter was tested for COVID and I am not allowed back at work until we get her results. And that is taking forever. So there is that. All right, next up, I want to use um, these scallop stickers. Actually, let's use these three for the videos for this week. So obviously this one is for the video you're watching right now, which is this plan with me. And then we will go through Wednesday's video, which I believe is going to be a flip of my life planner this past year. Um, I just, I think I need to refilm it. I was in such a funk when I filmed that video that I'm like, uh, I don't know if that's a good idea to put that out there. I think I'm gonna switch these two. I don't like the way that that looks. <laughs> I think repositionable stickers were made for people like me because honestly, I don't, I don't feel like most people have quite as much issues with putting down stickers as I do. <laughs> so we will see. But yeah, I think I'm gonna look at my footage from that video and just see if it's, if it's okay to put up. I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't. All right, let's get these videos down. I think Friday's video will be a review of the passion planners that I have ordered. Um, I got two weeklies, but now I've been looking at the daily and I also wanna check that out and share that for you guys as well. I've really been enjoying doing that, sharing all of the different options that are available out there because I feel like this time of year, like mid-year, if you're an academic user and at the beginning of the year, people are looking to change things up or just see if they need to stay with the system that they're using that's working for them. But it's a good time to sort of share those things on my channel with you guys and you guys can always reference them if you're thinking of trying out those brands. So there is that. Okay, what else do we have going on? I think I'm gonna do some filming in the afternoon tomorrow or today when you guys are watching this um, because I'm a little bit behind. Today I was just like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing any of those things. <laughs> All right, so do I wanna use, let's see. I have some meetings coming up, so I wanna use these three for those. Uh, let's just use this one right here for filming because I probably won't film the rest of the week, just on Monday for this week. And I'm gonna grab my little munchkin, or actually I'll use a Coffee Monsters Co. one. I just placed a huge order from Once More With Love because I was like, I need to go through my sticker book and see like what is actually going on. All right, so Tuesday I really don't have much of anything going on. That's very nice. Um, <laughs> I will do some editing on Tuesday night and on Thursday night. That's kind of just been my usual schedule. So I'm gonna get those down here and I will probably use, let's see, a few more of these Coffee Monsters Co. ones that are for, not Coffee Monsters Co., these are ones more with love. I have both brands or both shops in here. So sometimes I mix them up and I can't get this little guy off of here. Okay, there we go. We'll use this one for editing on both of those days. And then what else do I have? I have a meeting on Thursday and Wednesday afternoon. I'm trying to like glance at my, <laughs> at my sort of pre-planning notes. Uh, let's see, so Wednesday is at two probably one of our last construction meetings. 
at work because um, construction is just about over. I've got a Thursday morning meeting and then a Friday morning meeting. And I think I'm gonna use this peach one for Friday's meeting. And I'm gonna grab my Planner Kate stickers that say meeting because I like the way that those look a lot better than my handwriting. So there are all of my meetings for the week. Someone actually asked me a question last week or the week before, why do I put my work meetings in this planner if I have a separate work planner? Which I was like, oh, I guess I really didn't think about how um, people understood that, but I do keep important work things in here because if something were to come up and I have to schedule something like um, a maintenance appointment for my vehicle or dentist appointments for my kids, I will look at these days where I'm like, okay, today might not be a good day to leave work early to go to a doctor's appointment or something for my vehicle. It would probably be better if I did it on a Tuesday or I could do it on a Thursday afternoon since my meeting is in the morning there. So that is kind of why I put those things in there because these are things that I really just shouldn't miss that I should pay attention to and try to work around because they're already scheduled. So there's my thought process for that. Um, I think down at the bottom here, what I wanna do is use that area for meals. This is actually a very like not busy week for us um, and it may be super not busy for me the longer it takes to get my daughters lab results back because my job is not having it. They're like, you're not stepping foot in this building <laughs> until <laughs> we know that um, someone in your family does not have COVID. So, which is, I think the right thing to do. So I'm just gonna put it kind of right in the middle of the three sections here. And that's where I will write the meals in for the week. I have been trying to get back into making sure that meal planning is a big focus in our home because we kind of, fell off of that and it's been kind of not very um, good health-wise, a lot of eating out. So not exactly what I wanted to do. So let's see, that is actually it that I have for the week. There isn't a lot going on. I'm sure that it will fill in as the week progresses, but that is pretty much everything so far for this plan with me. I seem to never have anything going on in the weekend, but I enjoy my nice relaxing weekends. <laughs> and a lot of times I'm like researching like the next planner to buy to share with you guys. So um, doing things like that, like yesterday, I spent a good chunk of the afternoon mocking up some spreads in the passion planner so that I could share with you several different ways to use that planner because I'm actually quite impressed with that planner, more so than I thought it would be. So I can't wait to share that. So be on the lookout for that this Friday. All right, that is everything for this plan with me this week. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, make sure that you click that notification bell so that you know when my videos are posted here on YouTube. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.